Have you ever wondered what lies beyond the edges of the universe? Is it a never-ending void, a parallel universe, or something entirely unimaginable? Join us on a mind-bending journey to explore the mysteries of the unobservable universe. From mind-blowing theories to mind-bending discoveries, you won't believe what's waiting for us out there. Before we dive into what lies beyond, we wanted to ask you, if you are new to this channel, if this video gives you any value at all, please click the like and subscribe buttons, because that would really help us out to go ahead and pump out new videos for you guys. We often hear scientists refer to the universe as the observable universe. Ever wondered why it is exactly called the observable universe, and why we are restricted by this concept? The observable universe is obviously the part of the universe that we can observe from Earth. It is the region of the universe that is visible to us through telescopes and other observation tools. The observable universe is terrifyingly big. It is estimated to be about 93 billion light years in diameter. What this means is that if we were to travel at the speed of light, it would take us 93 billion years to reach the edge of the observable universe. However, due to the rapid expansion of the universe, the size of the observable universe is constantly changing. So how far can we actually see in the observable universe? In the observable universe, we can see galaxies, stars, planets, and other celestial objects. The only thing that we haven't found yet is extraterrestrial life. About 13.75 billion light years ago, the universe as we see it today was created. The most distant objects we can see are galaxies that are far away and were created just after the Big Bang. The very reason we can only observe a certain part of the universe is because of the finite speed of light. The simple principle of light is that it takes a certain amount of time to travel to us. And since the universe is constantly expanding at a mind-blowing rate, there are some parts of the universe that are simply too far for us to see. Scientists call this the cosmic horizon, which marks the boundary of the observable universe. But just because we can't see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. In fact, scientists estimate that the universe is way, way larger than what we thought, almost hundreds of trillions of times bigger. Just imagine what we can discover beyond the observable universe. Are you ready to journey beyond the edges of our known universe? We'll take a look at all the different theories out there, Stay tuned until the end to uncover the shocking truths about what lies beyond the observable universe. I'm pretty sure that you're not the only one wondering what lies beyond the already gigantic observable universe. In fact, it is one of the biggest debates in astronomy. There are three widely known theories about what's outside the observable universe, with the most popular one being the infinity theory. As I've said earlier, the observable universe is bound by a cosmic horizon. Think of it like the horizon you see when you look at the ocean. We cannot see beyond this horizon, right? But we are pretty sure that there is more ocean over the horizon. Well, it's the same with what's beyond the cosmic horizon. Yes, more galaxies maybe even an infinite number of galaxies. Astronomers think space outside of the observable universe might be an infinite expanse of what we see in the universe right now, distributed in pretty much the same way as it is in the observable universe. To some, this is the most logical explanation of what lies beyond the cosmic horizon. After all, it doesn't make sense that one section of the universe would be different than from what we see around us today. A bit boring, you say? Well, beyond that boundary, there may be a bunch of other random stars and galaxies. But when we say infinity, it also means infinite possibilities. Another Earth? Possibly. A planet with intelligent species? An intergalactic space war? You name it. Since the universe has no bounds in this theory, while infinity seems easier to comprehend, there's another theory out there that might interest you more. One homogenous desert to explain everything inside the universe. Don't tell the cops, because they might want to take a bite. The next theory claims the universe is one gigantic donut. Yes, you heard that right. This theory suggests that the observable universe is just a tiny part of one humongous donut. When I say humongous, I mean it. It is unimaginably gigantic. Curious how the universe ends up to be a donut? Compared to the infinity theory, this theory proposes that there is a massive possibility that there is no outside to the universe at all. This theory was initially proposed by Albert Einstein and suggests that the universe could be shaped like a torus, or as you might be more familiar with the name, a donut, in which case there would be no edge or boundary, just one continuous loop. 
If you were traveling in one direction, you would eventually end up back where you started. Einstein proposed this theory to avoid the concept of a beginning or an end to the universe. If the universe is indeed donut-shaped like this theory suggests, that would mean the universe is finite. And if we somehow locate where we are in this donut, we could possibly estimate how big the universe really is. But there is just one problem with this theory, the Big Bang. Most astronomers widely agree that the universe started with the Big Bang. With the donut-shaped universe being proposed, how could the universe have looped itself back to its singularity? The geometry of the universe really dictates its fate. If it's an open universe, like the infinity theory suggests, it would continue to expand forever. But if it's a multi-connected and closed universe, it would possibly even collapse on itself eventually. But before we call it doomsday, let's take a look at one theory that needs to be taken into account. If a universe shaped like a donut sounds like fun, wait until you hear what this next theory has to offer. It will blow your mind. Yes, a multiverse. Like in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, where they have different Earths, and Spider-Man meets two other Spideys from different universes? Indeed, that multiverse. There could be another you in a different universe. Maybe you're watching this exact video like you're doing now. Curious how? Let me tell you. How could there be an infinite number of universes besides ours? The concept of a multiverse, which suggests the existence of multiple universes beyond our own, is a topic of ongoing scientific and philosophical debate. While there are many theories about multiverses, like Hugh Everett's Many Worlds theory, which suggests that every decision you make creates branching timelines and alternate realities, there is this theory that explains what is really beyond the observable universe. One science concept might serve as evidence that the multiverse exists. Inflationary cosmology. Inflationary cosmology is the idea that in the minuscule moments after the Big Bang, the universe rapidly and exponentially expanded at a rate unimaginably fast. The cosmic inflation explains a lot of the observed properties of the universe, such as its structure and the distribution of galaxies. But there might be more that we have not yet observed, and that was produced by inflationary cosmology. During the brief period after the Big Bang, quantum fluctuations may have caused the creation of multiple bubbles of space-time, each with its own set of physical laws and properties, but connected to each other. Gravity might even flow between these parallel universes. In this theory, our universe is just one bubble surrounded by an almost infinite number of other bubbles of universes out there. Let's be real. Out of the three popular theories about what's beyond the observable universe, this multiverse theory is the one that sparks our imagination. Sorry to pop your bubble, pun intended, but as exciting as it sounds, there is no directly observed evidence that suggests these bubbles exist. So far, the evidence supporting the idea of a multiverse is purely theoretical and, in some cases, philosophical. 